multiple linear regression. How to resolve multiple linear regression, especially the ones with about three parameters here. Here we have the y as a dependent variable. We have the x values as the independent variable. And b1, b2, and b3 are the coefficients of x. Y b0 is the slope. And these ones can also be regarded as the intercept. This is the error term. In this case, we will not be treating the error term. We, for we to resolve this type of regression analysis, we should note that from here, we have this as yi to the equal to v i x i. Yes. For we to resolve this, we must put this regression model in a matrix form. Please, you have to subscribe for you to get more of this. First thing to do, we can just take the sum. Taking the sum of this, which is summation of y to be equal to, if you sum the constant, you get n times that constant. Plus b1 summation of x1 plus b2 summation of x2 plus b3 summation of x3. We can choose to ignore this. We can ignore this because we are not treating the error thing. So we make this equation star. So from this equation star, what we need to do to get this b naught first, to get our b naught, we say let b naught. We make n b naught to be the subject of the formula. So we make n b naught to be the subject. So if this is the subject, we have this as n b naught to be equal to summation of y minus b1 summation of xi minus b2 summation of sorry x1 x2 minus b3 summation of x3 so we make we divide through by n divide through by n we have n b naught divided by n to be equal to summation of y all over n minus b1 summation of x1 all over n minus b2 summation of x2 all over n minus b3 summation of x3 all over n so it means that for b to stand alone which can be said to be our b estimates we have y here as the y mean as b1 x1 mean minus b2 x2 mean minus b3 x3 mean so this is for b naught for we to calculate b naught we've got to b naught already so the next thing we need to do is to see how to get our x1, x2, and x3. So, to get x1, x2, and x3, we have to put the whole of this into a matrix form. So, we write to get x1, x2, and x3, we put it into matrix form. How do we do that? We say from equation star, which is this, we can write this as summation of y to be equal to, since we know the value for b naught, that means the value for this, we write b1 summation of x1 plus b2 summation of x2 plus b3 summation of x3 
So what we do is that we say we multiply through first by x1. We multiply through first by x1. If we multiply x1 to this, we have summation of x1y will be equal to v1 summation of x1 squared. This multiplied by this, this multiplied by this will give us plus v2 x1 x2 plus v3 x1 x3. And then we go over to x2. If you multiply x2 by this, you have summation of x2 y to be equal to v1 summation of x1 x2 plus v2 this multiplied by this we have summation of x2 squared plus v3 summation of x2 x3 we also go over to v3 if we multiply x, sorry, x3 by this, we have x3y to be equal to b1 summation of x1, x3 plus b2 summation of x1, sorry, summation of x2, x3 plus b3 summation of x3 squared because if x3 multiply this you have this so we also need to recall that um, we said y is equal to b yi is equal to bi xi which implies that the solution the solution will be b to be equal to x inverse of y and how do we find that? How do we find that? We have to make the whole of this, we put it in a matrix form. If we want to put that in a matrix form, we we'll write it this way. Write it this way. We say the y we have first, y will be equal to the whole of this summation of x1y, summation of x2y, and summation of x3y. We have our b to be equal to B1, B2, and B3. And we also have our X to be equal to, we take this, the values for all of these, which is summation of X1 squared, summation of X1, Summation of x2. Sorry. Summation of x1, x2. Summation of x1, x2. And here we have summation of x1, x3. The next one will be summation of x1, x2. Summation of x2 squared and summation of x2, x3. The last one will be summation of x1, x3. Summation of x2, x3. And the last one is summation of x3 squared. So, it means that we arrange the whole of this as b to be equal to x bar and this. So that means x inverse multiplied by y. That means b is equal to x inverse multiplied by this. Our solution 
will be the value for B1, B2, and B3. Also, like you have, this, 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 this. How are they calculated? How are they calculated? Let's start from this. X1 squared is calculated this way. Summation of X1 squared minus summation of X1 all squared all over N. We go over to this place. Summation of x1, x2 is calculated. Summation of x1, x2 minus summation of x1, x2 all squared all over n. The same thing is applicable here. Summation of x1, x3 is calculated. Summation of x1, x3 minus summation of x1, x3 all over n all squared. The same thing with this summation of x2 squared is calculated summation of x2 squared minus summation of x2 all squared all over n. Summation of x2 x3 is calculated summation of x2 x3 minus summation of x2 x3 all squared all over n. This is calculated summation of x3 squared is equal to summation of x3 squared minus summation of x3 all squared all over n. The same thing is applicable for y. The same thing is applicable for y. Here we have y to be summation of x1 y. So we have summation of x1 y is calculated summation of x1 y minus summation of x1 y all squared all over n. Also, summation of x2, summation of x2 y is calculated summation of x2 y minus summation of x2 y all squared all over n. And lastly, summation of x3y is calculated summation of x3y minus summation of x3y all over n all squared. So this is how we can calculate and solve for the value, the multiple linear regression that was given.